All right, today I wanted to look at some free code camp stuff um, and uh, just kind of go through it with, with people if they're having troubles or anything like that. So uh, we're going to start at the f first one and then uh, I'm going to try and get through all of basic HTML today. I'll skip the intro and we'll just get right into this. So this looks like... Um, in HTML, we have these H, we have these tags. Everything is like surrounded by tags, and that tells you what kind of like element it is. Uh, an H1 element stands for like heading one, so it's like it's like the biggest heading. There's like H2, H3, H4, and it just like gets smaller from there. So right now, we just want a heading that says "Hello World." So I'll just put a "Hello World" right here, and uh, it should work. Uh, after that, run the tests, and then uh, it gives you like a, <laughs> a nice uh, confidence booster like oh yeah most efficient all right and then we go on to our next one uh, now it just says add a h2 tag that says cat photo app so just go h2 uh, cat photo app and then you gotta end it with a slash slash h2 that's how you end the tag otherwise it doesn't know when to end the tag so Run that uh, and uh, it worked. Uh, short for paragraph, create a paragraph. Uh, and now it says create it below the H2 element and give it hello paragraph. So this is pretty simple stuff. Uh, we'll just go hello paragraph like that. And then P, P with the slash. Gotta remember the slash. And then run those tests. And it works. Sweet. Next. Replace the text inside your P element with the first few words of the skinny gypsum text. So I'll just copy this if I can. Copy this and I'll put it in my P tag. And then I'll run that. And it worked cool. The comments, they don't do anything. It's just for like uh, if you want to remember something, then you do this. So yeah, this isn't rendering right now because it's a comment. But if I take off the comments, or if the comment, yeah, the common things are gone, then it renders. So that's that's neat for documentation and stuff. Uh, comment out H1 and P, but not this one. So we'll just add that, and then we'll go. And we'll add another one here. And there we go. Run that, and beautiful. So we'll just delete that. Run it. Beautiful. These are like these are like divs, just like blocks, but they tell a story of what they are. So main, so you're supposed to just put everything in, in your, like everything that's main, put in your main element, or everything that's your footer, put in your footer element. But really you can just do it as a div, uh, but we'll get into divs uh, uh, later. So I'll make another P element. Okay. And copy and paste this into there. Copy and paste. Main. And do a closing tag on that. Main. And that should work. Yep, the P elements. So image, and this I think is a self closing one. So you don't need the second tag. You just self close it because there's no like content in it. It's just like these source things that go like inside the tag itself. Uh, I don't know why I put a period there. Okay, so I'll just copy. Oh, I'll, I'll put the source equals first. Source, source equals. Um, and then I'll copy and paste this. And then they also need an alt tag to say like if it if it doesn't render it, it, it has this text. So, um, let's see here. Okay, just whatever I want then, I guess. So, try that. Yep, beautiful. So, let's see here. Create an A element that links to Free Code Camp and has cat photos as its anchor text. So, uh, just do that anywhere, I'm guessing. So, I'll just go A. Uh, cat photos as the, as the anchor text. Cat photos. 
and then inside the anchor tag have the href. So where does it bring you? It brings me to the C URL right here. HTTP free code camp if I can if I can copy it. Copy, copy, copy. There we go. Run that and beautiful, it worked. Change it to hashtag footer. So I'm guessing we take this out and we put hashtag footer here. Footer like that. Um, and the text from cat photos to jump to bottom. Okay, try that. Oh, uh, see here, jump to, I don't know why it keeps putting a period at the bottom. Jump to bottom, uh, remove the target blank. Uh, I didn't, didn't put that. Um, then add an ID attribute to the value of footer. So footer, we have to put an ID here. So ID equals the footer, 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 fodder, footer, footer. There we go. Let's see if that works. A tag should not have a target attribute. Uh, oh, I guess I did have it. All right. <clears throat> Beautiful. So we want to put a P element here and put the P closing tag over here. P, P, and then inside the P, um, it has more cat photos. So we just want more, more right here. More, more. There we go. So now it says more. If I put a space in, I put a space, more cat photos, and you click the cat photos to go to this link. So, P element should have the text view more, view more. Oh, view more, view more, view more. Okay, not more, view more, view more. Okay, there we go, beautiful. Okay, make dead links using the hash symbols. So, replace the href attribute like that. So, it'll just take you nowhere if you click it. So, yeah, so if I click it, uh, actually brings, yeah, it brings me right back to the same page that I'm on. So, Run that test. Uh, your element should be dead. Oh, it uh, it uh, it refreshed it. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Beautiful. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, turn an image into a link. Just put an a a tag around it. Anchor, an anchor tag, as we like to call it. Um, however over your image with the cursor, and now it should be a pointer. Uh, no. Oh, I have to put the href as something. So href equals the hashtag. There we go. And now it's a pointer. Cool. Run the test. Beautiful. <clears throat> Next one. Create a bulleted unordered list. Uh, last two. Okay, so delete these and do a ul. Why don't I just copy and paste this? That should work. Three things. So I gotta add in one more of these. I'll just copy and paste that down. Run that. Beautiful. Just try and get, create an ordered list. So ordered list, uh, on ordered list, do bulleted points. Ordered lists are gonna do like numbers. So uh, create a number. Okay, create an ordered list of top three things cats hate most. So I'm just gonna. I'm just going to copy this and uh, change it to OL. So hopefully that's fine. Uh, let's see. Yep, it's fine. So let's do that quick. Uh, create a text field. So input. So this is how you put in like a, like text into a, a form box, right? So we want to create an input element of type text. So below below the list. So just go input, and this is a self-closing tag as well because we don't put anything in it. We just, if you want a placeholder in it, you, you actually like say placeholder. Uh, but right now we just want type equals text, text like that. And then close it up like that and see, yep, and it works. Next one. Uh, at, okay, yeah, placeholder text. So that's what I was saying before. So I'm gonna do placeholder. Placeholder equals uh, cat photo 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 URL, and there it shows up right here. 
but it, you know, when I type into it, it disappears. Run the tests, beautiful. Uh, we're gonna do form, and we're gonna do wrap it, wrap it in the form, slash form, like so. And then uh, inside this, it's gonna have an attribute of action. I'm just gonna copy, because why not? Copy and paste that in there and run the tests and there we go. Next one, add a submit button to a form. Add a submit button to a form. So yeah, submit button, it's an actual button and it uh, causes the form to, uh, causes the action to happen. So once we submit it, it does this action of slash submit cat photo, whatever that does. <laughs> right here, it doesn't do anything, but in a real application, it would, it would do something uh, like uh, putting it on the on the server or into the into the database. So I'll go button and slash button like so, and uh, type submit. So yeah, we go type equals and then submit. Oh, with type submit with submit as the text. Yeah. Okay. So we go submit here. Submit, and then there it shows up as submit. So beautiful on that. Beautiful. Um, next one, use HTML5 to require a field. Okay, yeah, so if you just put required, then it won't submit unless you have something inside the text box. So inside the input is where we put that. We just go required, like so. And then if I try and submit it, and it says please fill out this field before, before you can submit it. So let's see if that works already. Beautiful, I didn't even read it, but I'm just that good, I guess. Create a set of radio buttons. Copy this. See what happens here. Put it uh, inside the main underneath this, I guess. Oh, or in the form. Uh, yeah, to your form. Okay, so I'll put it in the form, I guess. Put it in the form here. There we go. Put it in the form. Okay. Now one that says indoor, and one that says outdoor. So just gonna paste it in. Uh, indoor and those should have the option of outdoor. So outdoor, outdoor. Uh, both should have the name attribute of indoor outdoor. Name attribute, indoor outdoor indoor. Okay, beautiful. Would you look at that? <clears throat> the forms commonly use checkboxes for questions that may have more than one answer. This one will have input type of checkbox. So, um, three checkboxes. Well, it should have the name attribute of personality. Okay, so I can just copy this three times down. So wheat, let's go. Okay, right here. Copy paste. Copy paste. Copy paste. Uh, three of them. Loving, loving, loving. Okay, beautiful. Next one. <clears throat> Use the value attribute with radio buttons and checkboxes. Value attribute. Oh yeah, so value. So once you click it, that's what value it'll submit with. Uh, so that's actually very important to have a value in it. Otherwise, it won't do anything. So uh, give each of the radio and checkbox inputs value attribute. Use the input label text in, as a value for the attribute. Oh, gosh. Um, just indoor, outdoor. What the heck? Oh, not capitalized. Gosh. That's so dumb. It should be case sensitive. Case insensitive, I mean. Seriously. So dumb. Okay, next one. So we want to uh, check the first of your ready buttons and uh, check boxes. Uh, okay. So radio button, first of my radio button. We'll go checked like that. And for my checkbox, we'll just put checked right here. Checked. And there we go. They're checked by default. Run the tests. Okay, that one was easy. <laughs> Easier than the other one for some reason. Uh, nest many, many elements within a single div element. So div just is just a divider. So it just divides your thing into blocks. <clears throat> it's very useful. Um, I didn't really understand it at first, but uh, you come to love it. <laughs> so nestier things cats love and things cat hate list within a single div element because then 
then you can like put different styles for each of the different blocks. Uh, it's very useful. So uh, things cats love. We'll just put div around it uh, right here. Put div just divide it up basically. And we did around here like like so like so. There we go. Run that. Uh, next one. <clears throat> Declare the doc type of an HTML element. Don't really worry about it too much. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Add a doc type tag. Uh, like go to the under it. Add opening and closing HTML tags. Trap around the HM. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy and paste this. It should work. Beautiful. Uh, HTML element should wrap around one H1 element. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. H1 uh, slash H1. Okay. Nice. Wrap around one each one element. Heading can oh, it has to include some text, I guess. Okay. As I don't need this. Okay, that that was weird. That's dumb. The comment shouldn't do anything. Define the head and body of an HTML element uh, or document. Oh, so I got to make the head and put the type in there. Okay. And there, and we'll put this right here. Run that. Body mount should wrap up. I need the body elements as well. Body, and body, body, like so. And we'll just, we'll just go like so and put it there. Okay. Run that. Beautiful. Next one. Uh, okay, so now we, we're done with the HTML part and going on to CSS, and uh, I think that's where I'm going to end it, because just got done with the HTML, that's what, what I wanted to get done for today, and I'll do this tomorrow.